All right, let's do this. Time to feed these uh, Linux nerds, <laughs> geeks, freaks. Yeah, got to feed them. Oh, by the way, hello, viewers. Mornings. Another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work out. This strength is good. Or, excellent. What? All right. What I, what, what I got what I got for you uh for 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 you uh for you um AMD nerds. We back at it again. Listen to this. What's up? What's up, Times Hardware? Listen to this. AMD Linux graphics driver is getting too big for older machines. Hmm. Says here, uh, graphics boot menus are turning out before AMD GPU can load. Hmm. Says Linux users are complaining that the AMD graphics driver for their OS of choice is getting too big and is now causing issues. Red Hat Linux desktop engineer Hans uh, D. Uh, Goldie highla uh, highlighted this issue at, at the weekend report. Uh, Pharonix. The goaded uh, blog post described the problem and helpful outlined some workarounds for people who may be afflicted with the same or similar boot issues. It says there are there have been several reports of boot uh, splash issues uh, posted on the Red Hat uh, Bugzilla bug tracking system sparking the attention of Red Hat engineers. In brief, these issues are due to the Plymouth graphical boot experience not loading correctly on older hardware thus users experience a boot splash timeout seeing just three dots on the screen and can't find that they are stuck at this early point in the boot process Plymouth has long been a default application in Fedora Ubuntu Debian Linux Mint and other distros the uh, the uh, Let's see, the gold uh, indicates that the sheer size of AMD graphics driver for Linux, simply referred to as AMD GPU, is behind a three dot problem. People report the AMD graphics driver is rep reputedly the biggest that mainstream Linux users will encounter. Approaching six million lines of code. Mm. <laughs> that shows you that these programmers and engineers are working. Six million, six million line of code. Mm. Says the time requires to load at the executed. This mass of code means that users of older systems with Radeon graphics can experience a boot splash screen timeout before the GPU is, is, is initialized. The timeout is set to trigger in 10 seconds by default. Not enough time for our older slash slower system to load the driver. Then it says, uh, so what are users experiencing this timeout to do? From the hardware side, perhaps migrating to some faster storage might be a worthwhile upgrade on the software side. And if users don't want to or can't, afford, or can't upgrade hardware, then the, the Go describes two, two options. And it says the Red Hat engineers, our first suggestion is to check if your system actually needs AMD GPU. And if not, it's a simple task to disable its loading another option for those who have systems that actually rely on this driver is to redirect Plymouth to render the via simple DRM DRM slash KMS device which means no timeout waiting for AMD GPU drivers to load uh, the uh, code provides sample uh, command lines instruction for you to copy to accomplish these tasks last but not least Pharonix note that the latest Fedora package are working around the Plymouth boot timeout issue by immediately uh, probing for simply DRM. Perhaps other distros will follow suit. Hmm. Well, getting too bigger for older machines? Well, well like the article says here, uh, you might want to up upgrade to an SSD. Or the other option is to disa disable the... Um, D disable it and then, con and then and then continue on from there until a new uh, a new a fix a fix come out. I mean I mean I mean until a fix comes out. But uh, right now, uh, by the looks of this, the um, the engineers over at Linux, uh, um, they will be they, they will be looking into this issue and try to f and try to come up with a fix for it um, and see um, and then go on from there. You know? But um, six six million lines of code. Mm. That shows you that these programmers are working, man. 
<laughs> They're working. Um, uh, this this affects who? Uh, let's see. Who does it affect? Uh, Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint, and other distros. Um, they, they, they will be looking into this. So uh, they, they will come out with a fix. And when they do provide a fix, I'll let you know. But yeah, problem problems do come up in the tech world, you know, so uh, they, they they will be answering to it, you know. It's just like what what happened with our Mi Microsoft's, uh, what was that, the W, uh, what's the W, uh, uh, WH2 for the, uh, for, uh, Win for Windows 11? <laughs> yeah. Problems do come up, man, so uh, these engineers will be looking into it, and they will be addressing it. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy it. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Fine, Bored, Dark Side. Um, go. Face. Beep, beep.